Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief It's justice. a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, very strategy. Very terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocates. If I say today's edition is going to be cool, calm, and collected, I may be lying. Instead, it may be hot, sizzling, and provocative. I cannot pretend as if she's introducing a moderate conversation by asking us to look at Nigeria beyond 59 years. Let's see where we'll go from there. Benga is pulling no punches. He's calling out our youths as lazy, frivolous, and misdirected. Should I go on? Hey, don't shoot the messenger. Uche is openly looking for trouble once again. She says climate change is hysterical horse. Let's see how that goes down. Emeka may well be the soberest among us. Anyway, you know him, Ajay. He's calling out the malpractices in our medical system. I'll be setting off the fireworks by asking, is Omoyele Showere, is he to come or should we expect another right after the break? On the 30th day in the ninth month of the year, but in the fourth month, in the first year of the second reign of President Buhari, and so it was that the Department of State Security, here and after known as DSS, Arain Omoyole Showere, the presidential candidate of Action Alliance in the 2019 presidential election in Nigeria, on charges bordering on treasonable felony, punishable with life imprisonment. And some of the grounds of the charges are that Showere was planning to overthrow a democratically elected government after losing an election by calling out a protest which he tagged Revolution Now. He was bundled out of his house on a Friday night into a Department of State Security facility in Lagos before he was subsequently transferred to Abuja. The DSS thereafter applied for a court order to remand him for 45 days pending investigation and subsequent arraignment. While the DSS promptly obeyed the order allowing them to hold him for 45 days, even before he was certified by the courts, they refused to obey a subsequent one, granting him bail. Claiming that the EDA had not seen the order, despite the service of a certified true copy on them, or as someone said, they probably were waiting for directive from a god up above. In the face of the obvious provocation by government and the surreptitious clamp down dissenting voices, the silence of the Nigerian human rights community, the Bar Association was deafening, and the ordinary people started asking questions. Where is the solidarity forever? We shall always fight for our right. That the civil society people chant at meetings and gatherings. Where are the people and voices that occupied Nigeria over the Pope hike? Where are the lawyers that refused to attend court when the military government refused to obey court orders? Where are the activists who are quick to claim that an injury to one is an injury to all? I'll be sure will not be one of them again. So many questions, but no answer. Only time will tell if indeed solidarity was ever forever or only for better. Nice one. Mm. You like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm glad someone brought up the Shore matter because you know I didn't want to bring it up and also be pushing it as if it were my only, you know. Um, but I, I, I'm pained by the situation that's going on with Shore and anybody who's being held under those circumstances simply because I feel it's an affront on our democracy. When you ask the question, where are all these people? I would just say it's cowardice. I know a lot of times they've said, oh, it's because Shore seemed to be running his own. People felt they couldn't identify with the Shore you know, move. That they, they would argue that when it was subsidy, um, occupy, that everybody had a stake, but that this one somehow doesn't inspire them because Shore may have his own agenda, Shore made this. I just feel, look, at the end of the day, we all know what we're, what we're suffering here. So for me, it was, neither, it was never about him as a person. It was only about saying, look, this, the, the, the country is hot. It's hot for all of us, and we all need to join, you know, voices together, you know, and, and, and make our voice heard. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm like you. I'm totally disgusted 
by what is going on. Um, but I also feel like the people uh, have gotten to a stage where we're muzzled, really. We can't, see, you know, we're afraid to speak our minds now because we can see, I mean, on a daily basis, the DSS is picking up people just like that. Okay. You know, I think the other day they just picked up a Sahara reporter journalist. You know, and then when people made quite a big noise about it, they released him later okay, on. Okay, Chido one more. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay, yeah. So yeah, they're, he, they're, they're he picking up people. We're all Biafra. We're all we Biafra. Yeah. So, so I think they've not even read the book. No, they if they have read that book, they, they didn't know it was the title of it. Yeah, exactly. They didn't know. They <laughs> just quickly reacted. Now, the other um, complaint I really have is when people say, Shore, let Yoruba people fight for him. You know, he's I haven't there. even heard that oh, one. You, you, need, you need to get more. On. You know, so suddenly it's like, oh, let the Yorubas fight for him. After all, when they were doing Operation Python Dance, you know, in Igbo land, where were the Yorubas? Okay. And so I, I had to actually say, you know what, if you guys are going to now deal with this on a tribal level, then there's something seriously I missed yeah. here. Because we re really, really need to focus on what Shore is fighting for. Mm. And I came across... Um, one of his avid supporters, and he actually said that the one thing about Shore is that he's non-tribalistic. He like is. he has no, Absolutely he doesn't that. even yeah. think along those lines. Yeah. So how are we now going to be treating him but, with that same, you know, measuring? But, yeah. but, that's but this is for me. Um, I I think that the 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 uh, going from what Liberos has just said about whether the activists. Uh, so the question where is, are they? Are they, yeah, where are they? Mm. So is this some kind of fatigued, activism fatigue? Were they ever uh, there? But I don't think so. I, I, 2014, 2015 election, you had all these activists that sort of helped to enthrone mm -hmm. this yes. government. So there's a sense of... They, hypocrisy. They, yeah, you there's some kind of hypocrisy. Like and that. a lot of them are trying to navigate their mm. own mind space in terms mm. of how do we deal with mm. this government. Yeah. Mm. And the other thing is this. I think that um, a lot of people... And this is a government that has shown that it's not afraid to use force. Yes, exactly. Um, and a lot of people are just dealing with trying to survive. Exactly. And like, look, let everybody kind of fend for, you know. I think that's probably uh, the more, uh, yeah, the I, more I, solid yeah, but, reason. But, 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 you know, because people help to enthrone people. People help to enthrone people. So it's thrown into the It, 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 it might be a sense of being cowardly. Benga, do you have something to say before I talk to you? I'm not a lawyer, but I think you are one. Yeah. I wonder where you're going with that. Who arrested PMB in 1984? Um, after he messed up the democratically elected Shio Shagari. Mm. Do you understand? Who, who arrested yes. him for treason treasonable that's offenses, um, whatever? That's mm. section one, subsection two of that's the right. constitution. Thank you, sir. Mm. But Femi Falano said, if I'm going to go to court, my first witness will be the president himself. Mm. Yes. We heard do, that. do you understand? Mm. Now, are there people who are telling him what to do, or is it that he doesn't know I'm his office? him. Adv thank you. That's um, possible. Um, so you spoke about Professor um, Wole Shoyinka. Mm. Professor Wole Shoyinka, I don't expect him on the street again, because in 2012, <laughs> yes. when we did Occupy Nigeria, he told us bluntly, he said, you know what? I started fighting on the street in 1962. Mm. This is 2012. I'm old. 50 years I'm fragile. After, nothing has changed. Mm. I'm old, I'm fragile. Don't expect me on the street again. You guys should take over. Yes. Now, Femi Kuti said, on that same note, he said, you know what? I was three years old when my father started fighting for Nigeria. My father is dead. I'm mm. still alive. I'm over 50 now. Do you still expect me to continue the fight? On the final note, settlement. Because I remember when um, GEJ's problem in 2010, about transmitting of power mm. uh, when Jaradua died. Yeah. Mm. Save Nigeria group came out, marched on the surface of Nigeria in every, yeah. every, every, every state. state yeah. And had to, you know, whatever they got. Yeah, well, now, but, what happened? That, that same group cannot sort out because no, then this same Shogure was part of the movement. What the government does not know is that people like Shogure the prison cannot hold them down. Mm. Or the, at, at best, what the government is doing for him, here we are discussing Shawarena, mm. ordinarily wouldn't have been discussing yeah. him. What the government is doing for Shawarena is his raising his profile, mm. making him a brand. And there are so many disgruntled youths out there who are looking for that person who mm. will be the face, you know, to the redemptive song. 
And if government is not careful, mm. they might just elevate Showare to that level mm. that they never expected. And then you still see him, even in court, shout, shouting, yeah. that revolution, revolution will still happen. Yeah. Because the questions he's asking are valid. Yes. But well, like uh, time is never an issue or a, a friend. Uh, they say you are, time flies when you're having fun. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, confronting issues is what we do here on The Advocate. After the break, Ekene is in search of the way forward. Let's see if we can assist her.